Hey guys, welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'll be your host, Jared Bronstein, and today we'll be talking about the one thing that has been taking the world by storm, Baby Yoda. For those of you unaware, Baby Yoda made its debut in the new Disney Plus original Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. If you're a fan of the Star Wars series, then you would know Yoda is quite a powerful Jedi Master. Yoda is who helped turn Luke Skywalker into the powerful Jedi he would soon become. And although Yoda is such an integral part of the Star Wars series, it seems he's been forgotten and replaced by a younger, much cuter version of himself. Even though Baby Yoda may not be as powerful, it seems the little green alien makes up for it with those big round eyes. Now before we explore the idea, what if Baby Yoda was real, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to never miss a video. You also gotta let me know in the comments down below if you guys would want Baby Yoda as a pet, or I guess, a friend. What you would do if you found a Baby Yoda here on Earth. And as always, I'll be replying to some of my favorite comments from my previous video, but for now, let's talk about Baby Yoda. So just to clarify, as I record this video, the entire season of The Mandalorian is not out yet. We're only a few episodes in, so not much is known about Baby Yoda. Of course, we know that it has powers. More specifically, the Force. And it's 50 years old. Even though it's baby, apparently years in the Yoda race are much shorter than human years, or they just age incredibly gracefully. Either way, although not much is known about the Yoda race, one thing is for sure, if they were real, we'd have a lot of questions about them. But they would also provide us with a lot of answers. One of those answers would be, are aliens real? To which the answer would officially be yes. Unfortunately, this would lead to many, many more questions. So let's say someone stumbles upon a baby Yoda. They tell the authorities who then capture it, clearly this thing isn't human. It must be an alien. Unfortunately, we'd want to do our research and figure out where this alien came from, what it's capable of, and why it came to Earth, assuming it was found here. There's also the possibility that we find a baby Yoda on another planet. Again, we'd most likely try to capture and study it and bring it back to Earth. Either way, this would most likely become a problem. Not that Yoda's race is necessarily destructive or chaotic, but feeling a need to defend itself, the Force would certainly be used. This may also lead to the deaths of certain scientists or researchers thinking their size will give them a power over the baby-sized Yoda. And given the fact that, it seems, all of Yoda's species have a connection with the Force, these aliens, which is what we'd see them as, would most definitely be much harder to apprehend than we'd initially realize. Even if somehow, some way, we were able to capture a baby Yoda, who's to say other Yodas wouldn't come to Earth to rescue their captured infant? There's also the argument that we can make about the entire Star Wars universe being real if Yoda's race were real. Of course, this leads to much different scenarios, such as the possibility of stormtroopers or really anybody from the dark side coming to Earth with one thing in mind, world domination. But if we were to focus only on baby Yoda and Yoda's entire race being real, and that's all, it would still pose a handful of problems for us. Not even in the sense of danger, but more so uncertainty. Where did this Yoda race come from? Where is their home planet? And how did they manage to get to Earth? It seems as much as we'd like to know about aliens' existence and where they're hiding, upon finding them, we'd just have even more unanswered questions. Some things are better left unsolved, and I think in this case, we'd be much better off if we didn't stumble upon a baby Yoda. There's also another very strange yet realistic possibility. Baby Yoda becomes a celebrity. I know it may sound a little weird or strange or out there, but if you think about how popular the character has become, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that people would be obsessed with this creature. Whoever was the first to find it may literally put it on display for others to come see live in the flesh. Again, with it being an alien species, I'm sure the government would simply just step in and take the alien for research purposes. But still, I don't know about you guys, but if I had the opportunity to see a baby Yoda in person, I would definitely pay a lot of money to see it. Do you know how many likes I would get on Instagram? All joking aside here guys, to sum up, if someone were to find a baby Yoda, I don't think it would end well. It could even possibly start a war between our planet and the planet or species that is Yoda. Then again, Yoda could speak English, so maybe we'd be able to have a conversation and explain why we captured the baby version. But imagine explaining to someone that you captured a baby of their race to do research. It's not a good look. So to wrap up, depending where and when we find baby Yoda, really depends the outcome of this question. If we find a baby Yoda on a faraway planet, we'd most likely try to capture it, most likely fail, and then spend years and billions of dollars trying to understand this alien race from far away. If baby Yoda were found on Earth, well, it would most likely be captured, or at least we would try to capture it. And then the same thing would happen. We'd do research and possibly attract other Yodas that come to save the baby. They would use the Force, and they would definitely win in what wouldn't be much of a fight. Not to say they'd destroy the Earth, but those tasked with defending, capturing, and researching the baby Yoda 
would most likely end up being attacked as part of the rescue. The person who made money off of Baby Yoda's image would also most likely feel the wrath of the Yodas. But the rest of us should be okay, because we treat Baby Yoda like the adorable king he is. Now before I read some comments, let me know below what you would do if you found a Baby Yoda. Would you keep it? Like almost like a pet? Or I guess a child? Would you leave it there? Would you hand it over to the government? What would you do? One day, you're just walking down the street and you just find a Baby Yoda. You guys gotta let me know what you would do in the comments down below. Honestly, I think I would just leave it there. I think I'd be freaked out and I would just like tell the cops or something. I don't think I would actually pick it up. You never know what it could do, right? It's kind of scary. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. What if Mars disappeared? Now, before I read these comments, I will say you guys left me some hilarious comments to go off of. I only chose three of my favorite, but honestly, do yourselves a favor. Check out that video and go to the comments section because you guys, you guys are dropping some gold down there. Nerf or nothing, y'all said, humans, let's colonize Mars. Mars, I, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> I don't know why, I just saw the SpongeBob meme, but instead of SpongeBob's face, I literally saw the planet Mars sitting on the couch saying that, so. Very funny, I enjoyed it, gave me a good laugh. Galactic Eyelord said, Elon would be upset even more than the window incident. <laughs> That's what I mean, guys. A lot of you guys made comments about Elon, which I loved because I think I made a comment about him as well. I just think it's really funny that he has this like romantic relationship with Mars. <laughs> maybe not romantic, but he genuinely thinks that we could live there, which maybe we can, but I I don't know. I don't think it's happening anytime soon. Snowpaw said, anyone else notice him say SPC instead of SCP? I didn't notice that. Uh, I, I could go back and watch the video and try to find when I said that, but I know it's the SCP Foundation, so I don't know why I would say SPC. Maybe I just made a mistake, I don't really know, but uh, yeah, I don't think it'll happen again, because I'll make sure of it, but I don't know, did I say SPC? Maybe I said SCP really fast, and you thought I said SPC, I don't really know, I'd have to listen to it first to, to clarify, but if I did do that, I apologize, uh, it's definitely not the SPC Foundation, it's most definitely the SCP Foundation, and uh, we'll leave it at that. So anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with someone that likes Baby Yoda or a Star Wars fan or someone who's never seen Star Wars, just to educate them on Yoda, I guess. Make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Of course, drop me a comment down below letting me know what you would do if you found a Baby Yoda. I'm very curious to all your responses because I'm sure it's going to vary. And of course, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to never miss a video. You guys, of course, gotta let me in the comments down below what you would do if you found a baby Yoda. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys have been watching Life's Biggest Questions, and we'll see you guys in the next video.